Looking deep in space and back in time, an international team led by Rutgers and Penn State scientists has found primitive fossil galaxies. Seen as they were some 12 billion years ago, these objects may shed light on the origins of galaxies like our own Milky Way. Science and technology correspondent Patrick Regan reports. This discovery started with telescope images that Eric Gowiser, assistant professor in Rutgers Department of Physics and Astronomy, compares to extremely long exposures with a digital camera. Faint objects they revealed were then examined by a technique that broke the light into thousand color rainbows or spectra, helping to gauge their distance and age. The Hubble Space Telescope was just barely powerful enough to show their shapes, strikingly different from fully developed spiral galaxies like this one, called M74, and our own Milky Way. The galaxies that we've just finished studying have only one fortieth as many stars as our own galaxy today. They're only one twentieth the mass, and they're only one tenth the size. We expect that rather violent things happen to these galaxies over the intervening billions of years because it takes about 10 or 20 of these galaxies to combine to form one present-day spiral galaxy like the Milky Way. The international multi-university team used two large ground-based observatories and two different space telescopes. In the original images that were taken in Chile, they really are little blobs. They almost could be stars, except that their colors are different and they stand out in a way that let us find them. So then we use all the information, the spectra that we took, the Hubble Space Telescope images when they aren't point sources anymore, and then we applied the fourth piece of this puzzle, which was the Spitzer Space Telescope, another NASA satellite, a telescope taking infrared imaging. Like fossilized ancestors of modern-day animals, these images of fossil galaxies may have the potential to reveal early stages of development. These galaxies that we've studied are so far away that the light they emitted that we're seeing now on Earth today has traveled for 12 billion years to get to us. And that's most of the lifetime of the universe, which we believe is about 14 billion years old. What we're actually going to do next is to move a little bit later in time try to study a similar set of galaxies found with the same technique but when the universe was one billion years older and these should be the next generation of the ancestors of the Milky Way. Patrick Regan, NJN News, Piscataway.